I admire longevity in this business. And in a way, you got to find your niche. That's the thing. You got to find what sells to your audience. The DNA became the signature show. Yeah. You guys had no idea. It wasn't like no. you set out to do a DNA show. No. But when you sit and break the news to some guy that whether he is the father or isn't the father, you can go back to that well over and over and yeah. over again. It's also the women because sometimes they're naming these guys. Oh, and by the and way. they never are the father. The biggest reaction is, is when they're not the father. Yeah. Right. And I did one <laughs> smart thing unknowingly. In the beginning, in the first DNA show, when the producer is briefing you about the story and you've read all about the story and then they say and the result is and I said you know I don't want to know the result hmm. I don't want to know anything the guest doesn't know the live audience doesn't know the viewers at home I don't want to know any because I'd skew the questions right. because I knew something more you want to find when, out at the same time when I open up that envelope I'm with everybody else. Wow. Do you think if the original way the show had been pitched to you, if they said, Maury, we want the Maury show to be a DNA show. I'd you, say, uh, you, uh, you, you got, got the wrong no. guy. Yeah. <laughs> what, what happens is you get into the heat of the battle, and the Maury show used to be more oh, Oprah-ish sure. oh, or Phil very Donahue. Very much so. So what happened? One day you do a DNA test, and do the ratings spike up? Do you watch that? Maybe not the first, but maybe the second or third. You right. know pretty quickly. I mean, I know today, if I do, like in sweeps, if I do DNA, lie detector tests, out-of-control teenagers, that's for the entire month. Mm -hmm. I'm not going on uh, uh, is she a man or a woman beauty contests. I'm not going on phobias, uh, uh, people who are scared of pickles and cotton balls. I'm not <laughs> doing that. Right. But in sweeps period, those three themes... Hit the mark. Do yeah. you worry that some shows would copy that formula? They tried. They tried. There was one show you, that was all DNA. It's the same thing as you all. Yeah. all People try detector. to copy you. Yeah. It doesn't work. So what is it? Do you think it's your presence? You have a certain credibility with the audience? I think that's... And, and Howard, I'll tell you, I don't know why that ha is, but somehow there's a connection. You know what I think it is? You look the part of the credible anchor man. You yeah. look conservative. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, you come on and you have a certain demeanor. And that helps, too, because it gives the show a certain credibility, they right? They think that I am... God. Uh, well, not God, but but I'm the uh, maybe older uncle, something that uh, I ha I know more about the world maybe than they do, and they can unburden themselves and and start again. When you deliver DNA results, do they have heavy security there? Are you afraid that somebody will kill somebody over it or get no. so angry and violent? Well, that they, you know, there's a lot of <laughs> dumping on chairs. Right. Uh, guys, when they're proved not to be the father, they do backflips. Right. On set, Do some on the of them set. put that on just because they know they're on TV? No, no, it's a very genuine reaction. Yeah, yeah, and and, and you. I mean, think it's pretty serious. Yeah. Right. Am I the father or I'm not the father? It's, and these women go nuts too because of course, they, and really they run try. back. I did a Tyler Perry movie one time with Medea. You know when he yeah. plays Medea, and she is using the theme, and they had me in the studio, and he knew every move that all of the women make when they're when they're when it's not the father and she runs off the stage buries herself in the sofa puts the pillow over her head <laughs> starts kicking their heels at this point having done it so many years are you a bit tired of it are you no. is it like kind of the job that you like you keep hitting it with a stick but it won't go away every story is unique in some way and you like it i love it